Hey Grove family, we made it to a Friday and a long weekend. It's a great day to be alive. Well, today we're going to be reading from Romans chapter 8, verses 26 to 28 in the New Living Translation. Here's what it says. And the Holy Spirit helps us in our weakness. For example, we don't know what God wants us to pray for, but the Holy Spirit prays for us with groanings that cannot be expressed in words. And the Father who knows all hearts knows what the Spirit is saying, for the Spirit pleads for us believers in harmony with God's own will. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. I love this scripture. It was such a help for me in one of the most challenging moments as a pastor. There was this woman who had called and asked me to come over and be with her and her husband. She had gotten news that they thought her family member had been abducted and that they had gone missing. They were pinging their phone in the bush. It was a real nightmare, a really scary, intense situation. Fortunately, they weren't abducted, but the terror, the agony, I remember her looking at me and going, I don't even know what to pray for. And this verse just came alive in my heart. And I'm like, you know what the beauty is? We actually don't have to. All we need to do is call out to God right now. So we sat there in that moment and just said, God, we don't even know what to pray, but Holy Spirit, we know that you already are. You're already interceding for us with God. That's a huge encouragement. That should really encourage you because we've all had those moments, hadn't we? where things have just been so heavy, so intense, and we don't even know what to pray, guess what? In those moments, you don't have to know what to say. You just have to know who to go to. And it can really be as simple as this in those moments. God, help me. Jesus, help me. Holy Spirit, help me. That's it. He knows what's needed. He'll do what's necessary. And you can trust him. So today, if you're facing an obstacle, a challenge, if you've got something in front of you that feels like, what am I even going to do and you don't even know what to say? That's okay. Just simply pray, God, help me. Let's pray together right now. Jesus, I thank you that you are so good, so amazing, so kind, so wonderful, so merciful, so powerful, that there's nothing we can face in this life that you're not bigger than, that you can't handle, that you can't work through. Your word says you work all things together for the good of those who love you and are called according to your purpose. So God, as we love you and we continue to follow you, you will take even the worst seasons of our life and you will find ways to redeem those and do something amazing. And Holy Spirit, when we don't know what to pray, you've already got it covered. We love you, we praise you, we thank you in Jesus' name, amen. Hey, if you or someone you know would like or need prayer, email us, pray at the pc.ca. We would love to do that for you. Don't forget to check out Church Online this Sunday, 10 a.m. It's gonna be awesome, amazing. It's Pentecost Sunday. Can't wait. One more thing before we go. You have to know. We love you. We appreciate you. I'll see you later.